I don't think we've ever had a 21 second before. What? You don't we've think we've ever had a 21 second hug? But like, this 1, is 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Well, that's, that's like a 40 second hug, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I roll. Well, that's what roll 21, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'll set a stopwatch. <laughs> yeah, actual seconds. Yeah, I'll be a part of it. But, I mean, the idea is to go longer than 21, and the idea is to get your, like, experience of it. Now, explain this to me. Is the amount of oxytocin released, is that, like, proportional to the length of the hug? Is that why you want to go longer than 21 seconds? So, the idea is that after 20 seconds, oxytocin is released. So, like, if we hug for 10 seconds, and particularly if you weren't relaxed, oxytocin will probably never release. Yeah. Like, it kind of it has to do with trust. So, like, if you were with someone who you knew really well and you trusted really well and you were in a tight, you know, like if Gary and I hug for 10 seconds, oxytocin is probably going to be released at, like, you know, maybe even, like, at 7 seconds. But this is something that we really need scientists to really hone in on sure. studying so we can better understand this. There's more chance, as more time goes on, if you're in a hug you want to be in, that oxytocin will be released. I guess that makes sense for the trust thing. It's like the longer you're in the hug, the I grab my butt, the more I can trust you. Exactly, exactly. And and when it's someone that's hugging you that you feel a connection to, there's all the physiological parts that go to it. But whether it's a family member who you really feel connected to and you want to hug, or it's somebody you don't know as well, there's still a physiological piece that happens when the two people's bodies are touching and they're feeling all of this connection when you relax and then it's like a mindfulness thing it's like a meditation thing it's like a little bit like a nap <laughs> you know what i mean you're just like really relaxing yeah, yeah. and you can feel your like the you know the rhythm of your body change uh -huh. so i'm going to talk a little bit during it about like relaxing but i really want to know you can imagine I may talk a little based on how much I've talked so far. Sure. <laughs> so you're willing, <laughs> you're willing to 20, 21 second hug. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay. So the first thing is to be comfortable. So don't be leaning over so much that you're uncomfortable. Just okay. however is comfortable for you. Okay. okay. Take some deep breaths into your nose. Oxytocin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How long do you think that hug was? Uh, two minutes and forty seconds. Oh! Three, two, one, blast wow, off! Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Exactly. That hug just flew by. Right, and and that I mean it didn't feel super long. I mean that's one of the things about time that's like really interesting, and the whole. One of the major like focuses of this movement is to really allow yourself to appreciate the time that we have and spend it with your friends or your family in ways that really matter to you. And really slowing down for a hug that's three minutes and 21 seconds long in this case, but it felt like maybe a minute or 30, 40 seconds to me well, one thing for sure is that I felt like the whole time I was present. I was not thinking about anything else. I was right here, you know, feeling the sensations of our embrace and hearing what you were saying and, you know, feeling the air coming out of the air conditioner. So, yeah, just a good way to connect and be here now. Yeah, awesome. And I didn't exactly, what we got was great, and I kind of wanted to get the experience of, like, your skepticism. Maybe it's not, maybe I, it's hard to give my skepticism in the middle of a hug when I'm feeling relaxed. Right. And, yeah. yeah, I think that that's true. I don't know if it makes sense to do another take though where... I mean, I think it, I think it came across, so... No okay. skepticism I, came across? Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> I knew he could do it! Nice. I knew he could do it! That's what it is. So, um... Okay. So, yeah, I think it's cool. a grand example. Why don't you give him a 21 second hug? Just 21 seconds so he can know what that feels like. 
Right, and have a comparison of that too. Yeah. yeah. You just say I'll you just say, say when to start and when to stop. Okay, that's cool. So that felt like a pretty short hug. Totally. Relatively <laughs> like really speaking, short hug. right? That was like yeah. a really short hug. So you can take 21 seconds, people. Slow down and have 21 second hugs. And then see what it's like. And do it with some friends that you're super close to and some friends that you're not as close to that you'd like to have a long hug with. Or at least express to them that you'd like to have a long hug so they know how much you love them. Even if they say no, no is a good answer. Don't hug anybody longer than they want to be hugged. This guy is more or less, in my, my way of thinking, somewhat of a scientific non-hugger. Yet we just had a three minute and 21 second hug, and now he thinks a 21 second hug is short. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> 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 oh! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>